Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Slightly different setup to what you are used to seeing on my YouTube channel but I see a lot of questions on the Junk Journal Junkies Facebook group asking how to film craft videos so people can share their journals but this also applies to any type of crafting that you do. This will show you how you can film and the type of setup that I use. So this is my craft desk. I thought I would leave it pretty much in a natural state because and there's kitty natural state like I said a lot of you guys you don't want to tidy up to do the video I certainly don't so I'm going to show you a couple of tricks on what you can use now first of all I do have my craft desk in front of a window like you can see so I get plenty of natural light but what I also have here just to the side is a nice lamp which gives off a nice um, warm white glow it's not fluorescent and I also have that one that you can just angle down at the work that you're doing if I need to pull the base unit round to somewhere here I can do that and that just puts a little bit more light on especially in the winter you're not always filming in the daylight now how I actually film is this contraption here it's actually used so you can watch your video you know use your phone hands free basically and all I do is film on my phone obviously I'm using my phone now so can't exactly show you that but all you do is you clip your phone into there and you press record and it just clips onto any surface I've set my craft room up so I had this next to it before I had that I used to build a platform or clip it onto your desk you can clip that onto anything and I think that is the best way because then what you get is I'll pretend I'm putting it in you'll get a nice overhead view of the craft desk okay now what I used to do before I had this contraction I did actually use something else which was a little bit makeshift so what I would do is I would get this part here and I would position it exactly how it is now and I would put my phone there it would be like that so the camera's obviously on the back of the phone and that's a stable way to show things you know you can put things in front and show them especially if you're working um, with smaller items journals you may need to build the flat platform up or make the angle greater like that whatever you have and this is literally just a tin and you've got rulers and stuff in there so that's a cheap way to actually film if you don't have one of these I think these are maybe like £10 but I did actually get this one from Primark and my third and final tip is obviously you've got a whole heap of mess on your craft table by the time you finish the project or if you want to do a process video um, previously I wasn't too fond of the table that I had and things like that and it used to worry me that it wasn't very aesthetically pleasing unlike this one so what I actually did was I made myself a background and you'll see this in a lot of my videos and I just put that there I put my phone in and there you go look I've got a beautiful craft table didn't you know <laughs> but actually all it is is a piece of card and you get this from craft stores and it is in a huge sheet is it maybe like A1 or something um, and all I did was I got some wallpaper, a sample, I didn't even buy the roll and I've just covered the board. Let me put it down so you can see it. Sorry, it's a bit hard to film without a, a tripod set up. So all it is, is the, that is wrapped around the board and that will give you a lovely tidy craft area. And all I do sometimes is I literally just lay it on top of the mess and put my phone in and go. And it looks like I'm so in control of my life and my craft room is beautifully tidy. But in reality, if you've just watched my previous video, that's what my craft desk looked like. But in reality, this is what it looked like. So I hope you guys found this really useful. Like I said, I just wanted to share some tips on how I film my journal videos, flip throughs, any other videos that I do. I hope you found this useful. Leave a comment just so I can see if this is maybe some other tips and tricks you might like to see. But for now, bye.